ever played racquetball, you know it's a demanding physical sport. A lot of fun, but demanding. But one Valley woman is taking her game to a new level. And it's not Carrie Lake, although we have been talking about how <laughs> she gets very competitive when she plays it. It's one of those games. You don't want to you, you take her win. on. You want to win. She's pretty good. But the woman we're talking about is beating star racquetball players who are more than 40 years younger than she is. Jennifer Martinez is live with this incredible story. Jennifer. Yeah, it's definitely something that you don't see every single day. It's definitely an incredible inspiration for anyone at home. Susan is 64 years old, still playing racquetball and beating her competition, showing everyone that age is just a number. My mind, I think I'm 27. My body doesn't always say that, <laughs> especially after the aches and pains of a racquetball tournament. Despite those aches and pains, Susan Hendricks is going against all odds as a 64-year-old racquetball player at Arizona State University. A couple of years ago, Susan had an epiphany to go back to school. I thought, gosh, if I'm going back to ASU, maybe I can try out for the team. So that's what I ended up doing and ended up on the racquetball team last year. Hendricks has been a competitive racquetball player since her early 20s, but going up against these young students was a little nerve wracking. They're faster and much younger, but it's more what we do on the court together. It's like a universal language. Racquetball is like sports or like music. It brings people together no matter what your age is. Anybody that is able to step in and bring some, some value competition to the team is always welcome. This one just happens to be 64 years old who's doing it. Last weekend at the National Collegiate Racquetball Championship, she won a silver medal, beating two opponents from Texas and Oregon. This is a, a very unique title. Um, to be a collegiate All-American in general is a very high designation, but to be the oldest one ever is, is something that I was very happy to uh, see her accomplish. It's an awesome feeling. It feels like you get through some of those barriers that you think you can't win or there's no way you're going to get through all this. And then when you do, it's exhilarating. So a tip that Susan has for everyone out there is let go of the things that limit you, especially your age. It's very inspiring to say the least. And yes, she will try out next year for the team. Reporting live tonight, Jennifer Martinez, Fox 10 News. That's awesome. Way to go. Way